Hey guys, this is John from Fear No Evil, and I'm coming to you tonight with a little microcast. And I hope that with this, I make everybody just really uncomfortable for about five minutes, and then you can forgive me. Uh, but I've just been thinking about this, and uh, this isn't necessarily particularly about one single scripture. It's about a concept, and I know I kind of hate doing that, but... Um, you'll understand as you, you get to the end of this. Um, I am going to read 1 Corinthians 6, uh, verses 19 through 20. It says, Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? You are not your own, for you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. And I want you to think about the sin that you keep committing, that you tell yourself is something just of the flesh, uh, some innocuous thing that you have that's just part of this whole process and that you you don't really have an answer for and that you keep doing over and over and over again. And I want you to think about that for a second. And don't get me wrong, I know we all have one, or at least I have one. I don't, I don't know about everybody, I guess, but um, we all have these. And I want you to think about um, how you're treating yourself about this situation. And I don't want to encourage anybody to give up or to be too hard on themselves, uh, but I think an appropriate amount of hard on yourself is pretty good. Uh, think about before I get you know uh, exactly into what I'm meaning, uh, when a, a kid wants a cookie out of a cookie jar and they've been told they can't have one, if that kid uh, is going to go reach their hand into the cookie jar. It's going to be under very specific circumstances, and those circumstances all relate to the proximity of somebody else being there. If no one is there, they'll go sneak one. If their mother is in the room, they will not want to take one. Uh, if another authority figure is in the room, they won't want to take one, and there's different reasons for each one. Hopefully, one of the reasons is they love one of the people that they see watching over it and don't want to disappoint them, but probably most of the time it's because they just don't want to get in trouble. And I want you to think about how you feel whenever you are sinning. And I want you to think about something. You don't just know that God is watching you. I mean, that's enough alone to make you think twice about how you keep doing it, even though the God that you say you love and who you know loves you is right there in the room with you. Don't just think about that. Think about that scripture I read that your body is literally a temple for the Holy Spirit that is living inside of you. You're not just making God watch the sin you're committing. You are making the Holy Spirit live through that sin that you're committing. And again, in two minutes left, I don't know how to exactly not condemn you or make you feel bad. And I know this is going to be the probably most, just the least popular thing I've ever recorded on here. But I want you to wake up and I want you to think about that the next time you are just giving into that sin, giving into the flesh. I want you to think about what your real motivation is behind that. If that little kid's going for that cookie jar, even though mom's in the room, what does that say about something they feel about their mother? And it might just be as simple as disrespect or a lack of understanding, but it could be something worse within you. I think sometimes one of the greatest things you can do for yourself is admit that you hate God. And I don't mean that you hate him all the time. I mean that when you're sitting there and you're committing that sin, you have a motivation behind it. And it is not just to get to the end of it. It is not that simple, or it would probably be a little simpler to stop doing it. It has to do with your willingness to disobey, your willingness to disrespect, and your willingness to act in a way that is absolutely inappropriate when you know that the Holy Spirit is there within you having to participate in that act with you. There is something more behind it than just being the flesh. You can't just, as a Christian, keep saying, well, I have my flesh, and so I'm going to just keep committing a sin. It is not that simple. There are motivations behind everything that you do. And so I'm not just making this talk tonight to condemn you and make you feel bad about that sin you keep committing. I'm urging you to take another look at it, peel back a layer of deception that you've put over your own heart, and admit to yourself there's more to it than what you 
are recognizing that you're doing. There is more to the way you feel about God, and there's a reason you will just openly defy him, and there's a reason you will just openly sin against the Holy Spirit that's within you at the time. If you love the Holy Spirit the way you love your mother or father when you're a child, you don't reach that end in the cookie jar when you know they're in the room. And I would hope that even if you weren't just worried about getting in trouble, you wouldn't do it because you would just want them to feel better about you. You'd want them to be happier with what you do. And so ask yourself why, when God's in the room, you're still willing to do what you know hurts him. And forget the fact that it even hurts you too. Well, don't forget it, but you know what I'm saying. So anyway, I know we went a little long on this, but... I guess it's a big thing and maybe I'll do a bigger talk about it but do yourself a favor and the next time you're going to commit that sin start exploring why you're willing to do it in the sight of the God that loves you and is hurt by every sin you commit against him and get honest with him because I can tell you this whatever is in your heart against him that causes you to be willing to do that in front of him he will forgive you for if you just talk to him about it but you're going to have to talk to him about it. So do yourself a favor tonight and prepare something to say to him because he wants to listen and he wants to talk to you about it. Anyway, thank you guys for listening and uh, God bless you. Bye.